Stone Candlestick Ninja coming at you with an updated analysis on March 22nd, Friday, um, right after the close, uh, 4.02 p.m. So I have been waiting on, uh, you know, we've had some, my other tickers that I'm watching, Bitcoin, uh, got close to my 60,000, hit 62,000, bounced back up. I'm still bearish on that. Ticker MULN um, came down a little bit, still bullish. Um, that ticker and ticker LAZR are exceptions to my current analyses between crypto and larger cap stocks, they uh, tend to swing a lot more. So I'm not surprised that Mullen went down. Trigger my stop or trigger my stop loss the first time. Right now, my stop loss at 395 on Mullen. Um, and I'm actually preparing to add some more. I know it's uh, looking a little more weak than ticker LAZR, but I'm still bullish on both of those, even with the uh, temporary uh, six to 8% drop today. But looking at the VIX, right, as an overall market thing, there's a danger zone, as I mentioned before, and that tends to be between nine and 11, the true danger zone of the past. And but when we get down to 12, 13, we usually hover there before hit, normally going down and hitting um, the, the nine to 10 level. You see right here, not eight to nine. Right. And then if you go back and that was before COVID, if you go back here and COVID sort of draw, drew out, it went down at the 12, 13 level where we are and then it went down hit here and then eventually once it hit here i was just getting more sensitive and then there was a catalyst same thing here before 2007 2008 went down sort of teetered right here and went down to the eight uh the nine to eleven level right same thing here and you can see where we're at right now right and i'm sorry i got all these uh things on the chart here but if you guys watch my other videos or go back and watch them you'll see what i'm talking about but if we look at the um more shorter term time frames you can see this obvious support here and we're obviously hooking up so next week is going to probably be an overall bearish week for the markets, um, possibly a little longer than that. But as I mentioned before, this level that was 18, now it's 17, and then it's eventually going to be 16, 15. I believe we're going to be possibly, most likely, you know, probabilistic, probabilistically, and I'm sorry if you're catching any wind or noise, I'm on my patio, but uh, we're probably going to be caught between this level until the election time where we'll probably test the 9 to 11 zone, which we haven't tested yet, luckily. Right. We've been down to about the 12s and then back up. So we'll probably be heading back up, test 16 psych and then come back down. And we'll probably keep doing something like this as the government continues pumping money in and fighting with the Republicans on, you know, student loan money, so on and so forth. In the end, during before or, you know, a couple months before, during or a couple months after, we'll probably be where we have a bigger crash, where we go down just before the crash towards the 9 to 11 level like we've done in the past. History repeats itself. Uh, well, it doesn't always repeat itself, but it sure as hell rhymes. And it's looking like it's about the it's about rhyme time again. So Mike, Candlestick Ninja, ticker VIX. If you're interested in hedging and you want to buy this instrument with a, um, not a, not quite a synthetic, but it is an inverse derivative um, uh, style of an ETF that moves about 1.5 to two times the VIX moves, try ticker UVXY. They also have higher margin ones and ones that are one for one, like I think it's VXXB. That's uh, Victor X Ray X Ray Bravo. If you don't want the built in margin of or the built in leverage of UVXY, very dangerous to buy on their own, but great as hedges, just like gold, um, GLD, SLV, other commodities, possibly URA, uranium, and also um, uh, UVXY or VXXB are good ones to consider. Information and educational purposes only. Like, subscribe, follow, and I'll have some more coming your way. Have a great weekend. Uh, Monday next week, I think it's the 25th, we'll have. Uh, I'll have some more great analysis and I'll do some over the weekend for you guys for trading on Monday, Tuesday, and so on. Thanks a lot. Candlestick Ninja. Have a great weekend.